Hi, it's Mr. Mike here at the Sherburn Public Library with another episode of Storytime. Let's start with our poem, The Round Little Snowman. Everybody be round. A round little snowman had a carrot nose. Along came a bunny. And what do you suppose? That hungry little bunny looking for some lunch. Ate the snowman's carrot nose. Nibble, nibble, crunch. Okay, let's do some winter pokey. You put your right mitten in. You take your right mitten out. You put your right mitten in. And you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Left mitten, you put your left mitten in. You take your left mitten out. You put your left mitten in and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Right boot, you put your right boot in. You take your right boot out. You put your right boot in and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Left boot, you put your left boot in. You put your left boot out. You put your left boot in and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Winter hat, you put your winter hat in. You take your winter hat out. You put your winter hat in and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Snowsuit, you put your snowsuit in. You take your snowsuit out. You put your snowsuit in and you shake it all about. You do the winter pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Awesome. Okay. We're going to count our snowmen. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's sing our song. One little, two little, three little snowmen. Four little, five little, six little snowmen. Seven little, eight little, nine little snowmen. Ten little snowmen round. Okay, it's a good job, or it's a good thing we practiced our counting today because our book is called One Snowy Day by Diana Murray and Diana Tolentano. One snowy day, and we're going to have to do some counting, so be ready to count. Take a look at the inside cover. What do you see? Snowflakes and what are these called? Numbers. Snowflakes and numbers. One Snowy Day by Diana Murray and Diana Tolendano. Spinning and twirling, they float to the ground. Millions of snowflakes not making a sound. The house is all quiet and still nearly dark when one playful puppy leaps up with a bark. So how many puppies are there? One. <gasps> Two sleepy children are soon out of bed. Yawning and stretching, then patting his head.
The snow coats the treetops and covers the grass. And three happy faces peer out through the glass. Let's count them. One, two, three. <gasps> Some cheering and dancing, a quick bite to eat. Then out come four snow boots and four stomping feet. Let's count the feet. One, two, three, four. <gasps> Dragging a sled on a blanket of snow, passing five pine trees with branches hung low. Let's count the pine trees. One, two, three, four, five. Behind the old school, where the icy creek bends, there are six boys and girls waving down to their friends. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven sleds glide as one dog wags his tail. Let's count the sleds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They speed down the hill, leaving eight curvy trails. Falling back, whoosh, in a snowy bank below. Carving nine snow angels, swishing in the snow. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Have you ever made a snow angel before? They're lots of fun. <gasps> Packing and piling a frosty white batch. Ten perfect snowballs for puppy to catch. Let's see if we can count all of the snowballs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, ten. There we go. placing nine buttons in neat little rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, where's that other button? <gasps> there it is, nine. Then eight chase a bandit. Hey, give back that nose. What were they going to use for the nose on the snowman? A carrot nose, like in our poem. With seven scarves blowing, they laugh as they run. They can't catch that puppy, but trying is fun. Six silver lampposts, five birds in the sky and four paws slip sliding as friends wave goodbye. Let's count the birds. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> three faces worn by the fire so cozy Two cups of cocoa makes cheeks nice and rosy. <gasps> and one sleepy pu puppy is starting to doze. 
snuggled up tight with a bright carrot nose. They never did get that carrot back. While spinning and twirling, so fluffy and light, millions of snowflakes. Fall all through the night. And then again on our last page, we have snowflakes and numbers. Great job. Now, today, this is our letter of the day. It's the letter O. Can you make an O with your mouth? How about an O with your hands? Your fingers. The letter O. What shape is the O? It's a circle, especially the little O. Capital O, little O. Let's sing our alphabet song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C's. Next time, won't you sing with me? Can you think of some things that begin with the letter O? Let's go look for the letter O. Let's go look for the letter O. Let's go look for the letter O. Way down yonder in the library. Picking up O's and putting them in our basket. Picking up O's and putting them in our basket. Picking up O's and putting them in our basket. Way down yonder in the library. Okay. Do you know what this creature is? It's an octopus. It begins with the letter O. Octopus. And this little creature, he likes to swim in the water, and he has a fish, is an otter. Everybody say otter. It begins with the letter O. Here's another creature. Usually they're very big. They're almost as big as Mr. Mike. It's a bird called an ostrich. Say ostrich. There are some ostriches that people ride as well crazy. And then people wear these over their clothes. They are overalls. Can you say overalls? Begins with the letter O. Here is something we eat called an olive. Can you say olive? Begins with the letter O. Now, this is a shape called an oval. Everybody say oval. Sort of like a circle, except it's more egg-shaped. Oval. And there we got our capital O and our lowercase o. O. Okay. I also have some books like One Snowy Day that begin with the letter O. We have, oh, here are these creatures again. I love you like no otter. There's the O, the capital O. And then we have field trip to the ocean deep. There's an O, ocean deep. Ocean begins with the letter O. Here we have the one and only Sparkella. One begins with O, and only begins with the letter O. Lots of O's there. Oh, here's one. The Christmas Owl. Owl begins with the letter O. Owl. Here we have Tyrone Osaurus Dreams. O is the letter O, Osaurus. Here's a silly one. Attack of the Underwear Dragon, letter 
Oh, here's another new book called Our Table. There's the letter O. So those are all books that have the letter O. By the way, would you say the word snow for me? Great. What letter do we hear in the middle? Snow. You hear the letter O in snow, which reminds me of snowflake. Let's sing our song, Snowflake. So I need everybody to get your hands ready to be snowflakes. Here we go. Snowflake, snowflake, dance around. Snowflake, snowflake, touch the ground. Snowflake, snowflake, soft and white. Snowflake, snowflake, snowball fight. Snowflake, snowflake in the air. Snowflake, snowflake everywhere. Snowflake, snowflake, watch them fly. Snowflake, snowflake, wave goodbye. Goodbye. Have a great day and stay safe and keep on reading.